Live from KQED News, I'm Brian Watt. State health officials are sounding a cautionary note as we get closer to winter. Health Secretary Dr. Mark Galley said yesterday that there's a risk of COVID-19 cases spiking again as we approach the holidays and spend more time indoors. Symptoms could be missed during cold and flu season. We can't have history repeat itself. We still have so many unvaccinated Californians, kids as well, new variants, new concerns about infectiousness and transmissibility that we need to keep our guard up and getting young people vaccinated is part of that story. State health data shows cases tripled and test positivity rates doubled between October of last year and January. Galley urged older people to get booster shots, parents to vaccinate their children, and everyone to keep their guard up against COVID. At least 725,000 gallons of sewage spilled into the Bay Area over the weekend because of Sunday's storm. But Bill Johnson at the State Water Quality Control Board says the spills shouldn't cause long-term problems. You know, the good news is that they occurred when there was a lot of rain, so that there was a lot of runoff. And so the pollutants in the the sanitary sewer overflows, most of that was probably washed away by all the the rain that we had. But in the short term, you know, there was definitely potential human health risk associated with the sewage going to creeks and to the bay. Johnson says outdated and poorly maintained sewer systems have a higher chance of overflowing. In November, the Water Board plans to discuss upgrades to San Francisco's sewage collection system. I'm Brian Watt, KQED News.